Hey guys, welcome back to the AI in Medicine YouTube channel. Today we have more tips and tricks to help you up your Anki game. If you haven't seen our last video running through some Anki basics, make sure you check it out. Link will be in the description down below. Don't get us wrong, Anki is an amazing study tool, but hopefully by making these little tweaks it can turn Anki less into a chore and more into a game. Since our last Anki video, we discovered this awesome add-on called Anki Mode. When you enable this add-on, a QR code will pop up on your screen. Simply scan the code on the camera app and your phone becomes a remote control for your Anki decks. You can have the settings on swipe if you want to pretend your Anki cards are Tinder profiles, or you can set to tab. This add-on is super handy if you want to mix up your study space. You could have your cards up on a TV and sit back on the couch, you could vacuum your room, you could even do cards while exercising. But if you want to stick to basics, why not leveling up your clothes deletion game with labels? Simply add a double colon to the end of the word or phrase in the clothes, then type out the label that you want to be displayed. This feature can be great for turning clothes deletion cards into multiple choice questions by putting answer options in the labels separated by backslashes. It's also useful for giving yourself hints. For example, if you're trying to remember the three heads of the triceps, you can write the number three after the double colon. We found that in med school, your decks fill up really fast. So it's super important to keep track of everything by keeping your cards organized. You can tag your cards by lecture or topic or make each lecture a different subject. This way, you know what lectures you have or haven't made cards for, and you can target specific lectures by adding their cards to the custom study deck. Here on the AI in Medicine YouTube channel, we're always trying to make things more efficient. So one of the ways you can do this for Anki is to use keyboard shortcuts. When you're doing multiple cards and you want to suspend a card, use the shortcut Shift 2. If you want to suspend multiple cards, press B to go under Browse, select all the cards you want to suspend. If you want to select them all, you can use the shortcut Command A or Control A. Then you can suspend all the cards using Command slash Control J. To change the deck it's in, use the shortcut Command or Control D. To add a closed deletion, press A to go to Add. Then insert closed deletions with Command or Control Shift C. So that wraps up all of our tips for today. If we missed your favorite hack or tip, let us know in the comments down below or slide into our DMs on Instagram or Facebook at UOA AIM. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to not miss a single piece of content about how you can use AI to level up in life. <laughs> level up in life. Oh man. <laughs> that was really good.